I had a whole hole in my freaking. Bro, it was blood everywhere. I a whole like, hole, bro, yo. in my cheek, dude. Like literally, dude, like a whole hole. Like you can almost see through it. I literally spent a, over a thousand dollars on some stitches, bro, for literally eighty-eight cents plunger, bro. Look at that new drip. Sure to pop out with the pool stick. F and then Draco extended thirty and it's sent on my hip. Hey, yo, sauce. Family, what's good, man? It's your boy McG, man. We are back with another official McG. Y'all know what the deal is, man. Bang it, man, you know what I'm saying, bro. So, hey, bro, um, I want to get personal with y'all, bro. Yes, yeah, sir. Hey, we're playing Madden. Let them know. We're playing All right, bro, Madden. we're playing Madden, bro, right now. Right now um, man. You know I'm going to be the Kansas City Chiefs, man, because that's my team. I don't know. But I feel like it's time for a little, uh, a little story time part two. Um, y'all seen the title, bro. It's on how I got stitches. So this is literally how this all went down, bro. Um, what was it like mid March? Mm, yeah, what? I didn't even. I didn't even say what's. You didn't even say what's up I'm to him, bro. On, I'm smacking on Eminem, y'all. Sorry, this is Halloween. Man. Bro, bro, subscribe to the bro's channel, bro. MRC made it, y'all. You it, know, we major squad. We here. We lit. How, how should I start this off, bro? Cause it was like a whole. It was like a bro, whole like. Yeah, you only know set the date. Of, yeah, it was like March. It was like March, bro. Um, this was like a month. This was like a month, I would say, like after we moved in here to, uh, from Las Vegas. So we were all trying to get acclimated to uh, us being roommates, right? Ooh. So MRC made it, and I we shared a bathroom, and then we got Mystery Guy, right? Oh, you guys like Mystery Guy, huh? <laughs> oh, I love Mystery Guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So how it went down, bro? Um, I guess Mystery Dude needed to, you know, to drop a doozy, a little loosey coosey. Um, <laughs> 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 bro, this is just so disgusting, bro. It's like, tell me if you, I right, when I when I break this down, bro. Tell me if this is just like, what would you guys do in my situation, bro? Dude, like, so we get home one day and we go. I think it was. I think I went to go use the restroom first. No, no, no. Remember, cause, no, because it was overnight. I was, it was overnight. Oh yeah. No, but we didn't know about it until the, when we got home from that day. No, yes, we did because we told him the freaking. Uh, all right, so look, so it was it was like uh, it was like a night, right? We're all chilling, vibing, playing Madden and stuff like that. Burgos takes a poop, right? Mm -hmm. He comes in and says the toilet. Is <laughs> the toilet is clogged, bro. The toilet is clogged. Oh, all yeah, right, that's right. It, it was, was like that night. You right? right? I was like, dude, go get a plunger, bro. Mm -hmm. So he was trying to like you. So what first first. He, what, what was he trying to do with it, bro? Yeah, he tried to, I don't remember. No, he didn't, yeah, he did. We didn't have a plunger at that time because it was when we still barely yes, moved in. Yeah, we didn't yeah, have sure. time to shop for the house yet. Like, we just had the furniture that we moved with. And then he, um, so he didn't, none of us had a plunger. We're like, we should just go get one, or you go get one, right? He, at this time, he could have went and got one. He had full capability of doing it. He didn't. Bro, so, we, have, we have a grocery store right yeah. down the road. We have a Walgreens down the road. And I damn sure know that uh, a Walmart down the road has a plunger, bro. Um, what does that cost? Like 88 cents? Mm -hmm. All right, dude. So, bro, to seducey. Um, and first, he was like, yo, I'm just going to wait it out. I'm just going to wait it out. Till, like, he's like, I'm not going to go buy a plunger. Why would I buy a plunger when I could just wait it out and let and, and, uh, yeah, I'm like, and like, let it flush, bro? Uh, I'm like, yo, are you serious, bro? This is disgusting. You have a whole turd. In the toilet, bro. Nobody wants to smell your turd, bro. It's really starting to stench up the entire crib, bro. <laughs> Whoa. So, so long story story, bro. Hours. Dude left a whole turd <laughs> it was about in the toilet, hours. right? For 48 hours, bro. We had uh, we had uh, family coming over the next day, and we were all like, dude, you gotta fix this, bro. You just yeah. gotta fix it. Uh, we were getting irritated because he did, he did not want to go just go buy a plunger. He literally just wanted to let the turd sit there. <laughs> Yeah, like, whoa, what? And not and not like fix the, the clogged toilet, bro. That made no sense to me. So he tried to like uh, he tried to get toilet paper from the uh, from the sink or whatever, and the like out like get the turd out. I, I, <laughs> I don't know what he I don't tried. remember exactly. He made it worse, bro. He tried like he plugged the toilet up or something. Yeah, he put the toilet up worse, right? He made it worse. So we had to go to work the next day or or whatever we did the next day, right? Um, and we come back. It was literally like a good four twenty. Oh yeah, it's twenty four hours later, right? A smooth twenty four hours later, right? We walk in this, dude, we walk in the house, bro, and I, I'm not making this up, but I'm not exaggerating. 
I'm not making this up. I'm gonna say it twice. I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> For the, real. The smell that we came that we came to my nose, uh, bro. Uh, the smell that came to my freaking nose, bro, was so freaking putrid. Literally, <laughs> JD, JD opened up every window in the crib. <laughs> Yo, every window in the crib, every door in the crib was open, bro. Um, um, I get real mad, bro, because bro starts to fix nothing, bro. Um, turns in there, dude, it smells like crap. Um, I'm irritated, bro, because uh, we have company coming over, dude. Mm -hmm. um, and and this one went down, bro. Oh, man. So, yeah, we come, we come back, and I'm just like... What the hell? So we go in the toilet, bro, and there's still the turd. That's why I couldn't believe. Like, there was still shit in the toilet. <laughs> bro. And I was just like, I was tripping. So I'm, at that point, I was just like, bro, there's, you got to do something about this. You got to do something about this. And we confront him in the house. He happens to be in the house. He's just chilling on his phone, bro. Like, 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 like there's not a toad turd in the toilet, bro. Like, nothing happened. Like, this was just normal. I'm like, yo, like, why are you just chilling on your phone when there's a whole shit? Toilet, bro. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? Dude, what he said was just crazy. He, I mean, he, was, he was like, "Why would I go get a plunger when it when it's uh when um it's just gonna flush down?" Eventually. Yeah, like what? What are you talking? about? I was about? like, "Dude, you got whole you got whole roommates, bro. You don't care about our you don't care about our nostrils, bro. You don't care that you're dirty that you're dirty uh booty so." <laughs> so, bro, uh, oh, I think was so. Funny. Bro was sitting down in the room, bro. There's like a corner of the room, right? He had like his bed. He was sitting on the corner of it. I start going in on bro, like I was like, dirty Oscar booty ass boy, boy you're nasty as hell. Uh, we start, I start like talking kind of aggressive to him, bro, because it was just so disgusting. Yeah, you went in on him. It's going in, bro. Um, so he stood up, bro. He's like, what you want to do about it? Yeah, he got to the point where he couldn't even come with a reason what, like why he was letting that happen, and literally he just got to, he got like try to get physical right away because he lost like he couldn't. He couldn't argue no more, like, why he did that. Like, as a grown man, why would you leave your shit in the toilet? Like, that's like a little kid. Like, uh, have, you, have you guys ever like, just left a whole turd in the toilet, bro? And like, then not, like, fix it? Like, honestly, like, dude, say it in the comments below. If you guys had your, uh, what would you guys do? What would you guys do if you had left a whole turd, if, if your roommate left a whole turd in the toilet? Like, bro, And didn't want to go okay get a plunger, that. have a whole car. You're not going to be okay with that. I don't care who you are. No one's okay. It has to be okay. So what so sure. went down, bro? This is, this is, <laughs> I know. <laughs> what went down at MRC? Tell him, bro. I can't, I couldn't. So at this point, literally, he stood up, yeah, and- A uh, mystery guy stood G's, up, Yeah, right? he, in Mick G's face, and he decided to, um, like, push him. And at that point, it was a wrap, bro. Like it was a wrap. Bro. You got to tell me what through your head. All right, so I saw. I was him. like, I was like, bro, dude, you're like 120, bro. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna punch you or nothing like that. So we just gonna have to, you know, I a skidoo, right? <laughs> so bro, so bro, dude, I get when I get mad, bro, I kind of black out or whatever, whatever. Okay. So literally, bro pushes me, bro. I, I, uh, I get up. I, I think I grab, bro. Do like jaws? Did he draw me? I know. I think he missed. I don't know if he hit me or nothing like that. So he swung or something. He missed. I grabbed him. Bro's bed, dude. So he had uh, what type of bed did he have at the time? It was like a black <laughs> wooden one. So he so this bro's mattress was smaller than his bed frame, dude. He had oh yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> he had he had wooden he had like those uh, he had like the wooden um, things to hold his bed off the ground, right? So dude, I lifted bro up, dude. Pow driving him like through the goddamn, um, through the bed, bro. I just through the bed. <laughs> um, this, I don't even know, bro. I was so mad, bro. I literally, uh, was like biting my lip, bro. Like, literally biting it. Like, uh, it was bad. It was yeah, bad, yeah, right? Buddy. I got mad, bro. And I was like, oh, whatever. I didn't say a word. So, just so I literally have my hand on bro's neck, dude. Like, literally, like, hand on bro's neck. Yeah. Hand on bro's neck, and I was literally just looking at him, like, dude, should I pop you or not? <laughs> I was like, should I pop him or not? So I didn't, I didn't even do that, bro. I was just sitting there at this point, just letting it happen, bro. I wanted to break it up, because I was like, that's like my two brothers at the time, my two brothers fighting. And I was like, oh man, I don't want that to happen. But at the same time, I was like, if they get me involved to where I get hit or something, then I was gonna be involved right away too. So I was just exactly. like, I can't let that happen. Exactly. So I just had to let it play out. I was like, and at the end of the day, they're two grown men. They're exactly. gonna have to duke it out. No, I wish I, it was outside though. Exactly, I, I do too. Um, I do not condone violence and I do not, uh, 
uh, I want to go down that route, bro, to be honest with you. It was just, it was just a whole turbo, and I felt like disrespected. He hit me first, so I felt like I had to, uh, to do what I had to do to, uh, to do what I had to do, bro. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I literally had my like hand on bro's chest and hand on bro's neck, dude. And I'm just looking at him dead in the eyes, bro. And I'm just like, uh, uh, uh. And I'm just holding him down with like one arm, bro. He's like trying to get up, trying to punch me, or whatever, bro. And uh, long story short, bro, uh, uh, MRC's like, bro, y'all gotta knock it off. Y'all gotta knock it off. Blase, blase. Um, I get up, bro, I turn around, and beam, bro, I had a whole hole in my freaking. Bro, it was blood everywhere. I a whole like, hole, bro, yo. in my cheek, dude. Like, literally, dude, like a whole hole. Like, you can almost see through it. So, uh, Chris's dad came through uh, to the crib and literally put, I don't even know what he put on my, like, like uh, there was a dissolvable, yes, yeah, some type of like dissolvable um, ointment, like ointment, and then he put some stitches Green. on there. So then I call, I called my mom. I was like, "Yo, mom, I hit a corner, I hit a corner of uh, of the counter, and I need to go to the ER." She said, "What'd you do?" I was like, "Mom, I promise, I hit the corner of it. Uh, I hit the corner of the yeah. uh, of the counter." You need to. So I'm going like this, dude. Oh, I'm literally in the awesome. back. Of, I'm literally in the back of Chris's car, bro. Literally just sitting like this. And I'm just leaking out, dude. Like literally, I can put my tongue in my in the hole of my uh, in my face, mm -hmm. and it's literally almost going through. Like you can literally almost see the hole going all the way through. Flex one. So, so I literally get to the ER. They're like, "Yo, it's gonna cost about three hundred dollars to um to get this just get this stitched up, right?" I'm like, "Bro, I'm not trying to drop three bills." So I call my mom. I'm like, "Yo, do I have to get stitches?" I was like, "Do I have to get stitches?" She was like, "Yeah, you should probably get some stitches." Yeah. So, uh, yeah, bro. That's the time your boy got stitching, man. Dude, and the, here, here's the thing, bro. I literally spent a, over a thousand dollars on some stitches, bro, for literally 88 cents plunger, bro. That yeah, was literally a plunger. That was, yeah, that was crazy. I can't believe that. 88 cents and you couldn't even spend it. I was just like, come on, bro. So it's just like, it's like, damn. I spent a, I spent a whole rack, bro, on on a bro for his turd. Like literally, I spent a rack on a dude's turd. <laughs> Like, dude, his turd was, I guess, was worth a whole thing. Oh, bro, but it was like, yeah. that was one of the most was, yeah. and, and still to this day, bro, I actually bought the plunger right after I got my stitches, bro. I brought, I actually bought the plunger. Remember that? Mm -hmm. And bro was actually about to walk out in the crib. He's like, man, F, F this, F that, F this, and F that. He wanted to leave at that time, and ironically, he ended up getting kicked. And yeah, oh, uh, yeah. Well, that's story time, bro. That's all I got for the day, man. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed. If y'all want to was. A terrible time. Terrible time. <laughs> uh, comment below, man, if you guys want some more story times. Man, I got stories for days, bro. Um, we love you, of course, man. Um, if you guys uh, want me to uh, knock out some type of prank video or some more story times or reaction videos, man, just put in the comments below. I love you guys, man. Let's get this channel to 2K. Don't forget to... Uh, 2K? Where's it at? Let's go. I'm trying I'm to get trying to, to 2K, bro. 2K's like, coming soon, bro. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hey, look, guys, look, look, hold up. What's the score? What's the score? What's the score? What's the score? You better quit playing. I'm gonna score on you right now since you're. Ooh! It's 8 0! You know what's great about this game? There's four quarters. You know what's great about this video? They ain't gonna see the rest of the game. So, ha ha. <laughs> we win. We win. Oh, yeah, yeah we'll see. Know. We'll see. Alright man, like, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to my boy's channel, MRC Made It. Yes, sir. Don't forget to subscribe up, bro. And don't forget 2K, to get out. Hey, hit that smash. 2K. 2K. The like button for the man. Let's go! Don't forget to get that bell, man. A uh, ring, ding, ding. Get that new drip. Shoot it, pop out with the pool stick. F and then Draco is standing 30 and it's sent on my hip.